y'all welcome back to my channel as y'all know it's motherfucking princess ebony in this bitch but as y'all can see i'm doing something a little bit differently so this is my first time i'm kind of nervous but you know i'm like jersey stop but so basically, I'm introducing a new segment on my channel. It's called Baddie Talk. This is the logo. I think I'm gonna put it right here. <laughs> so yeah, so Baddie Talk is basically gonna be a segment that I do on this YouTube channel, and it's basically gonna be me talking, me giving like my thoughts and opinions. Um, if you don't know and you're new here and you don't have a wristband, I was on Big Lex Baddies Collection season two, the biggest motherfucking season there was period but i was casted to be a member for the tv show so i competed in everything and i feel like we need somewhere other than instagram live to chat like we need somewhere to talk and like get our feelings out and get our expressions out so i came up with this idea like baddie talk because i'm gonna be like watching things and when episodes drop you know you're gonna have a different opinion after the episode drop so it's like i want to hear like how everybody feels about certain things so i'm going to be giving my thoughts and opinions i want to have other baddies that will also cast it as well and i might do like some of the supporters and the fans to come up here and talk as well so this is basically like i don't know it's kind of like a podcast because i like y'all see my motherfucking microphone period hello hello but i don't know it's just me like wanting to do something and like you know Thinking big, bitch. That's what the fuck I'm doing. So, if you are new here and you do not know what the hell I'm talking about, about Big Lex Baddies Collection, make sure you go on Instagram right now. Go on Instagram right now and type in Big Lex Baddie Collection. Follow. Then you also need to go to at Baddies Collection T underscore. Follow. And you need to go follow big bad let i mean duh it's her shit like why wouldn't you want to follow like the coach like duh and then you need to also go download now that tv on roku and subscribe and yeah and catch up watch season one season one is on there so you can catch all the way up and then if you're still a little lost go to the baddie c page on instagram and scroll all the way to the bottom when i say all the way to the bottom i mean directly to the first post like you need to catch up because if you're here right now, first of all, did you subscribe? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's first things first. Then you need to go catch the fuck up to even know like what I'm talking about. So when you watch these videos, you're not going to be like, oh my God, what happened? What happened? You're going to know. You're going to be like, oh yeah, I remember she said that. She said this. So yeah, this is basically like a platform for us to be more hands on with the supporters and for me to like you know show more of my personality and like talk to y'all and post more videos because i just be wanting to talk sometimes i don't be wanting to vlog so it's like that's why i don't be consistent because i be like damn i don't do anything but baby i can sit up and talk i can sit up and talk all day that's no problem <laughs> so for my people that are caught up as you know the trailer just motherfucking dropped yeah this trailer is fucking bananas like this the trailer is going to be the topic today so today we are going to be talking about the trailer and i'm gonna have a few baddies you know state their opinions i'm going to give them like some questions they're going to answer and give their opinions how they feel because i want to know like how do y'all feel like how do y'all feel for real so i'm going to watch the trailer with y'all Okay, so the trailer, I'm watching on my phone, and I'm gonna have it like in the corner so we can all like watch it together. But you already should've motherfucking watched it because it's on my Instagram. Anyway, so, yeah, let's just, let's just get, like, y'all, I'm gonna shut the fuck up and I'm just gonna let it play. You are now watching. Now that's TV. Okay. So, a little insider, because you know, I'm gonna be dropping tea, I'm gonna be dropping jewels, everything that y'all didn't catch, I'm gonna make sure that y'all caught. But when all of this was going on, I was not there. 
when I tell you, I probably was one of the last people to arrive to the house. Like, I was not even there. So, when I watched this trailer, I honestly think I was more excited than y'all because it's like, damn, I didn't see. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my God. Like, I knew everything that happened. Like, when I got there, of course, they caught me up. No way y'all got that active, and we ain't even been here 24 hours. So yeah, so this part when Ferrari was in the bed, I didn't even get to see Ferrari. Like, I didn't even see Ferrari. Let's watch it. Quality, period, bitch. Do y'all see this shit, bro? This shit better than bag us, but. Okay, so I was there with Betty. <laughs> With Fetty, when y'all see that episode, y'all gonna be like, oh my god, like what the fuck? Like Fetty, Fetty's funny as fuck, bro. My bitch is new new. The motherfucking baddie. I know y'all see my motherfucking fine ass strutting. Down that motherfucking alley, bitch. I look the fuck good. Period. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. Season two is definitely in this bitch. Wait, 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 all I heard was every big mouth ass. Tell my sweets, wake up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was me talking my sweets, wake the fuck up, wake the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, that was me. No, but when Slim came in the house with no wig on, I sat. At first, I was like, hey. Girl, you ain't got no motherfucking wig on and she came in there prepared, period. She ain't even fucked. She already knew. Like, it was no talking this season. Oh, it's up. Oh, it's up. Let's let it be up then. Like, literally. I cannot believe Tori fought. Like, I wasn't there. Like, oh my God, Tori is so sweet, y'all. Y'all gonna be like, oh my God, she's so sweet. Like, what the fuck? Damn, me and Spit, she was mad as fuck. Bruh, the crit walk. <laughs> Y'all, the crit walk is fucking crazy. That's. <laughs> that motherfucking crit walk is motherfucking crazy. Oh my god, hold your head! Oh my god, the fact that she can hear it, like y'all, that shit made me cringe so fucking bad. It was just like, like I could just imagine, like oh my god, and then her reaction would have been my same fucking reaction. I would have been like, bro, fuck the fight, bitch, my hair, like bro. So I came with quick weed because I knew that shit was gonna be snatched out. I ain't sewing shit in. Y'all ain't finna snatch shit out. Fuck now. Fetty strong ass. Fetty, Fetty picked her up by her head. Like, oh my god. Like, you know how mad you gotta be to slam somebody. Like, that's how like motherfuckers be slamming kids. Like, like, oh my god. The fucking shit. Every crazy ass upside down. Yeah, I was trying so hard not to laugh because Ari was really mad, but it was funny because <laughs> this bitch, like this bitch is really crazy. Like she's really fucking crazy. Like, and y'all, we did not even know, y'all, we did not even know that they were fucking recording us from the, okay, so in each like corner of the house, it was like little cameras, but we just thinking like, you know, that's like some security shit, some security, you know, it's nothing too serious or whatever. They were recording us off them cameras, like on some bad girls clothes, like shit, like breath. I want to know what the fuck was saying. <laughs> I want to know what the cameras caught. Like, oh my god. Like <laughs> said, we here getting naked and they won't stop. 
Oh my god. I wonder what she was talking about. I don't even know why LaRue and Huckleberry fought. Like, I'm like, y'all. I'm just confused as y'all. Like, and what was they about to do? Because LaRue swung and Huckleberry caught it. Like, was they grab? Like, what the fuck happened? They was grabbing each other. Like, I don't know. Huckleberry was drunk. <laughs> when y'all see the episode, y'all gotta know. We was, we was all drunk. So, I didn't see that. <laughs> Bruh. Bro, they gonna make that into a TikTok sale. You bluff. Love it. That shit gonna be a TikTok sound, bro. That shit is a motherfucking funny, bro. Sweets is a motherfucking character, for real, for real. Like, in real life and on TV, like, for real. The slumber party is lit as fuck. The dad is in here throwing hands and eggs. <laughs> Period. 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 And Bella with that fucking wig cap, bro. Y'all need to go shop with that bitch. Cause that bitch got a motherfucking bundle. She got a straight one with the fucking hat. And you just had a straight hair in the back. She got a curly one as y'all saw. And she was snatching that shit on and off like a light switch. <laughs> Noodle popping her shit. Bro, Sweets is so country and funny, bro. Like, oh my god. Big Lex Body Collection season fucking two. Kind of British bub. Premiere. It's Big Lex, the Body Collection season two. Y'all, that shit was crazy, and I think it's more crazy because I was not there for everything. So, just like y'all, just not seeing everything, I'm just not seeing some of the stuff because. I was not there yet, y'all. Like, I'm so hyped to watch the episode. The first episode aired September 25th. So, after I dropped this episode, this is episode one, of course, duh. So, after I dropped this, like, the next episode is not going to be until episode one drops because... I don't know, I just feel like I want to do it every week. And I want every week us to have something to talk about. I want to have different baddies up here. Like, I want it to be like, you know, like a girl talk, like baddies talk. That's why I named it baddie talk, because it's like a girl chit chat. But it's like, we were on the show. So y'all getting a different side or y'all hearing different opinions. Like, y'all are going to love this. I'm already excited because I actually have a couple baddies to call right now. So that what we're about to do is call our baddies. All right, y'all. So we got Nunu on the phone right now. Hey guys, Nunu the motherfucking baddest. Oh lord, here she go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we talking about the trailer. You already know that shit was crazy. Super crazy. So what's your thoughts? Like, what's your personal opinion on the trailer? Like overall. My personal thoughts about the trailer is that I think it was great. I loved everything about it, the quality, the audio, me having a lot of scenes in it made my day, and the dramatic sound in the background, like, it just made the trailer, like, oh, shit, like, September 25th better hurry the fuck up, like, you feel me? <laughs> no, for real, that shit was so clear and so, like, yes. oh, my God. What's your favorite part about it? Um, I have three favorite parts. So the first one is when Sweets was crip walking. <laughs> and the second one the second one was when Huckleberry was in the kitchen and she said, Where's Sweets? And the third one is me yelling in the very beginning of the trailer when it was like um showing the house and I was yelling, I said, Fuck out of here. But it's so that's my favorite part because I don't think nobody knows that's me, but of course I know my voice from anywhere. Right, right, right. <laughs> Wait, why is your favorite part sweet script walking? 
because like it was because i first of all i didn't even know she did that one and two like if you know the backstory as to why she was crip walking, then that's why it was my favorite part, you know? Because, you know, her and Pink had beef. So it was like, it was just funny. Like, if you know the backstory, you know. If you know, you know. Right, 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 right. And then Huckle. Right, right, right. <laughs> what, why, was that so, why was that such, like, a big, like, part for you? When Huckle said we're sweet? Yeah. Because, like, yo, know, oh my gosh. Because, you know, they, they also had problems as well. And that night we was drunk. So <laughs> it was like first day in Wear Sweets was dumb funny to me. Like, cause it was like she wanted all the smoke that night. Like, everybody, her and <laughs> both wanted the smoke. So that shit was just so funny. <laughs> No, we were drinking. It's crazy because when I seen it, I was like, Hoka looked like she been drinking. She was wired that night. We all was wired. We all came back wired from the club. And it's just funny because Hoka was just like, we're sweet. Like, she looked out of it when she said that. So <laughs> that shit was so funny to me. Like, it was so funny. Is there anything that you would add or change about the trailer? Um, I wouldn't change the trailer at all. I literally think it was perfect from every scene, from the freaking clearness of the video, the dramatic sound. I love everything about it. But I feel like I would add me, um, me and like hitting Ray more because it looked like she whooped my ass and she did. <laughs> So I would just add I would they only added one little part and I would just add like, you know, two more scenes of me doing that and whatever. Cause you feel me? The kick the kick that she did, of course it was gonna like, you know, be um more popular and talked about. So it was like you feel me, they put in the kick and they put in the part where she was like hitting me O D O D. So I feel like I like maybe two or three more scenes of me hitting while her up, it would have been, you know, that's something I just would have just put in. But other than that, the trailer was perfect. So, how you feel about the trolls and the memes, you know, the kick, you know, they still talking about it. How you feel about it? Girl, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I really don't give a fuck. Like, anybody that knows me, knows Nunu for real, Nunu really don't give a fuck. Like, I'm a give a, not give a fuck type of bitch. And I don't really care for the trolls because, one... Them trolls is not on the show. I am. Two, they not knew no motherfucking the baddest. Three, I still held my ground. And four, I'm still one of Big Lex's fave baddies. So I, I, they can really suck my dick for all I can. But um, as far as the memes, like, I already knew. Like, I already had a mindset. Like, that's why I don't, I don't think I care. Because I already had a mindset where it was going to be like, when this when the trip comes out when the show come out i already know it might go viral like that's i just had that mindset the whole time during the show because you know during the show everybody was still joking about it and i was just like you know what everybody's gonna joke about it everybody's gonna have a meme about it opinion about it so it was like i can't really do much i can't do nothing at all at the end of the day and it was funny because it's like if anybody else would have got kicked i definitely would have had my opinion i definitely would have laughed and probably you know did memes and music. yeah <laughs> what everybody basically doing i would have did so that's why i'm not really giving a fuck about it like at all well that's really mature bitch i'm proud of you <laughs> <laughs> i know it's funny because lex was like lex was like Nunu's being so positive about it i don't even think i wouldn't say like positive i would just say like I would just say like what like but what can I do? Like there's nothing I can do. I can't beg them to take it down. Like you know what I'm trying to say? Like yeah. they got contracts. Like it is what it is. It happened, it happened. I still have my ground. Once niggas once the show come out, that that specific episode, like niggas gonna see that out of my ground. So like, I don't really care. Like I got kicked, I called her Jackie Chan, I gave her that platform, you feel me? So it is what it is. Like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I don't really care about it. Yeah, yeah, I understand. So, what are your feelings about season two? Like, what are you anticipating? Like, what, like, can you not wait to see? Like, what are you excited about? Okay, honestly, I really honestly think and truly think season two is the best motherfucking season. Period. And forever will be the motherfucking best 
season. And I understand Lex gonna come out with a season three, but season two is still gonna be the motherfucking best fucking season. I, I really feel like season two did that, and Lex keeps saying it. Like, it's crazy how Lex is saying it, and she's feeling it. Like, it's just crazy because she's really, really feeling us. And I like, I really love the fact how she likes every single body on the show, and she really fucked with season two because it's like, her saying that means we did something good for her. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, we yeah. did that shit. We, we we really did that shit. We stood on our we stood on our um we stood on our word, we stood on our actions, and we did that shit. You feel me? Like even with all the challenges and you know waking up early, you know all that type of stuff. Like we was prepared for it, and we did that shit. Like we literally like stuck on our word for sure. And I feel like what I'm excited to see. Honestly, I'm really excited to see everything because I really feel like every episode. It's gonna be good. Like, I don't think it's not gonna be that one episode that's boring. Like, every episode that's gonna come out, niggas gonna be like, oh my god, I can't wait till next Sunday. Oh my god, I can't wait till next Sunday. Oh my, like, you feel me? It's just gonna be repeated because it's like every single episode was good. Why? Because we really turned that shit up. The, we turned that shit the fuck up throughout the whole time we was filming. The whole motherfucking time. We was them girls. Like, at no, the end of the day, we, we, we really did that shit. No, for real, for real. I feel the same way. It's crazy. I was really just saying that. Like, I literally feel the same way. Like, I don't feel like it's not one episode where we didn't do our big one. Like, <laughs> like I really don't think, like, you know how, like, some episodes come out and niggas say, like, oh, this is a waste. This is boring. Like, I don't think niggas is going to say that. And if they do, they're a hater. Because I really don't think that one episode is going to be boring. Like, we really turned that shit up for real. And we was them girls. And that's on period. Period. Well, thank you so much, Nunu. Go ahead and tell them your Instagram and socials. Where can they find you? Yes, yeah. My Instagram is Yulia N, and let me spell it out: E U L I A H underscore A N N underscore. You gonna see me, Nunu, the motherfucking baddest, and you already motherfucking know. Season motherfucking two, a big like baddie collection. We going to fuck up. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi, Ebony. We got Miss Don't Nobody Want These Hands on the phone. <laughs> How you feeling? How you feeling? Fine. And the fuck did. So, what are your personal thoughts? Like, how you feeling about this trailer? Like, overall. I loved it. It was lit. We was lit. Big Lex was lit. The fights was lit. The house was lit. Well, nothing little. Everything was just big. Period. We was just on fire, bitch. <laughs> yes, we was on go. <laughs> no. Right. Ain't no stopping. <laughs> so, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was, of course, my slam. <laughs> <laughs> And Sue Ray Kick. I like that. I love it. I love it. Yeah, nah, that shit was going crazy. How you feel about like the memes and stuff that's been created from your slam and the kick as well? Um I really I just be like laughing and keeping it pushing really like I either get on Instagram to post something or I might scroll for like two, three minutes and I'm off. So the stuff I see, I just laugh. And, you know, it makes me excited to see people ready to see me, you know? So. Right, right. How you felt about the slow motion, though, when Ja put it in slow motion? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when he put it in slow motion... For my part, like, you know, usually when someone slings someone like that, it's like by the hair or something. I li It literally scared me because I looked at it and I was just like, whoa. Because it was like, it wasn't by the hair. I don't even know what it was. It looked like it was by the head. <laughs> but I was just like, damn, um, that's crazy. That's weird. I need to get my, my temper together. <laughs> so would you add or change anything about the trailer 
Um, no, did, I wouldn't change nothing about the trailer if I was able to. Like, okay, the trailer is perfect, you know? But if I was able to add something, I would add some of the exciting things from the spot that they haven't seen nothing about, if you get what I'm saying. Nah, nah, like, I think I'm missing it. Location. Oh, yeah, but, you yeah, know, this I was only, like... The exciting things from that location as well and add it in there. You get what I'm saying? Like, the trailer is definitely not missing nothing, you know, because it's only the slumber party part. Right. But if they was to come to me and be like, Betty, would you like to add something else in particular? I probably would grab something from the next location because there was a lot of exciting things that happened there too as well no and that trailer drops oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i am not ready i'm not ready i'm not ready you might as well get ready <laughs> so what are your feelings on season two like what are you anticipating what are you excited about um i'm just excited I'm really excited about the reunion. I want to know how, I want to see how everybody's going to feel about each other, like, during the reunion filming, because, you know, everybody's going to sit down and watch this majority of the show anyway, you know, before we film the reunion. So, you know, a lot of girls going to see other girls saying things about them that they wouldn't expect them to say. You know, a lot of things change once you start actually watching the show. Right. So I just want to see, like, can we make it through with everybody with this real role that, like, everybody's playing? You know, a lot of girls like, oh, she told me what she said on confessional, so we good. But it's going to be more than that, I promise you. Especially because, like, people be like, oh, yeah, I was talking shit. But they didn't say what shit they was talking. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> they didn't go into details. I was peeping that in the house. Like, motherfuckers would be like, oh, yeah, I was talking shit about that girl. Ha, ha, ha. But whole time, she could be talking about your, your fucking child or your life. Or you never know what the fuck was said. Yeah, so, yeah. That's what I really want to see, you know? I'm excited to see China Cash fight at the reunion. <laughs> um, no, I'm just ready to see. So who she fight? She fighting Queen, ain't it? Yeah, she's supposed to be fighting Queen. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. I'm excited to see whoever gonna be in the lineup to fight Mani. Oh yeah, I caught like the ending of the live. Yeah, I'm also excited to see who's not standing on shit. <laughs> Cause if bitches don't stand on shit this time, that means this they second time. They just don't stand on shit. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't stand up. <laughs> These bitches be sitting the fuck down. Mm -hmm. Well, alrighty, y'all. That was Miss Fetty Fan herself. Go ahead and let them know your Instagram. Anything you want to shout out? Period. Y'all can follow me at Betty underscore Fiend, F E T T I underscore F E I N. Um, my lingerie line will be dropping September 26th, and I got the lashes on deck, so hit me up. Period. Okay. Thank you. You know, probably. Hello. Big, 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 big. Big, big, big fucking LaRue and Princess Ab. Hey, girl, what you doing? How you feeling? I'm feeling good, making dinner, you know. What you cooking? I made a roast and some rice and cabbage and cornbread. Oh, damn, bitch, you could cook, cook. Oh, yeah, I cook, cook. I cook, cook. It's that southern shit. You know, big Florida shit. Big, big Florida shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into it. I know everybody's been wanting to hear your opinion. So how do you feel overall about the trailer? Um, so I think the trailer was lit as fuck. I think that Big Lex is a fucking marketing genius. She know how to just give us just enough. You know, just a little taste, a little teaser. Right. Um, I feel like 
you know, the fans, the supporters of the show, they think they may know certain things because of how the super trailer looked, but we definitely got so much shit in store for them. Like, it's going to be crazy. I think she did a good job. They did a good job. We did a good job overall. No, for real. And it's like, I be laughing at the comments because it's like, they be trying to put two and two together and getting eight. Like, they don't, they be well, way off. Like, right. way off, they be way off and don't even know the half. And they don't, can't nobody tell them nothing either. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was your favorite part of the trailer? My favorite part, um, my favorite part of the trailer was when, um, I think when Slim Jim snatched the fucking wig off. <laughs> <laughs> And she was like, I know I'm gonna have to get active with a bitch, so let me just take. Oh, you know what else part I like? I like trying to cash part. Like, I, I, you know, certain stuff that we didn't see what happened. Like, those are the parts that surprised me. The stuff that I didn't see that they put in the trailer, like trying to cash that she will pop a bitch neck off. Oh, I thought that was so funny. Ooh, it tickled me so. <laughs> Why it tickle you, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like the fans aren't even gonna catch that because they ain't even seen the thing. Yet. Right, so they don't even know. Like, but yeah, that was a good part. Um, that was a good part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, trailer. so for the trailer, it was a good part for the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so would you add or change anything about the trailer? Um, um, would I change anything about Charlotte? Yeah, I mean, only because it's me. So, I would change a couple things. Like, I feel like it, raw, it was raw. It came together good. But I feel like it was other parts that would have made it, like, pop out a little bit more. Like what? Um... Fruit Ninja, Fruit Ninja would have popped it off. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, Fruit Ninja would have popped it off. But you know what I was thinking about though? Like, what? that's not a part of the slumber party because remember, that was after like, we went out. So we was already like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Ooh, yeah. Okay, I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, because I was like, damn, I was expecting, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But then I had to think, like, wait, that really wasn't the slumber party. Yeah, you right about that. I didn't even think about it like that, so I guess you got a point with that. So, I mean, I mean, no, then, really, no. I feel like um, they showed too much of Pink. Like, she had talked a lot. That should have made the people wait to see that ass with her, because that would have been good. Yeah. I mean, but she did. She was only there for, like, a short period of time so I guess they was trying to like you know and she be like doing a lot of Instagram stuff so I think they was trying to like you know you gotta market shit you feel me yeah yeah I think the people would wait to see that yeah cause that's all they really been hearing about cause we can't talk about shit right <sighs> so how you feel about how you feel about the trolls and the memes that's been coming out from the trailer um, some of them is whack. Like, some of them need to lead the fucking jokes up to me, but it's okay. <laughs> I, I like the trolls and the memes because I think I'm a fucking comedian, even when I'm trying not to be, even when I'm dead ass serious, I'm still funny. So, you know, I'm with the shit. Like, I like the trolls. I like the comedians, you know, want to be comedians or whatever. I just want all the trolls to remember that when y'all, just when y'all thought, Y'all was funny. We are fucking hilarious. And I'm the bitch. I'm the right one. Nah, facts. Because, bitch, your shit's... Remember, I told you that shit in the house. I said, bruh, your jokes be coming so quick. Like, it's like you don't even think that shit just automatically come to your fucking brain. It just come out. It just come out. So, I'm ready for the trolls. I thought that was going to be on my ass real bad after the trailer. Because I did get flipped like a motherfucking gold medal gymnast. So, I... <laughs> But they they taking it light, you know what I'm saying? It's a little light work. It ain't nothing too much. Yeah, but that slow mo, that slow mo was a little dramatic. I don't know why, 
they had to put it in. Because <laughs> even in person, it didn't even look that bad. The slow mo just drug it, bitch. Like the cans on the back of a just married car. The slow mo just drug it the fuck out. But yeah. That slow mo wasn't even slow mo for real. That shit was like frequencies, like one dude. Yeah, like that shit was super <laughs> fucking slow, super fucking slow. But again, I'm just taking everything with a grain of salt. Like it's some people see shit for what it is, and some people just be trolling. And you gotta just let them troll. Cause one thing I peeped about, um, peeped throughout this whole experience, even the ones that claim they don't like you. And they be trolling you, they still follow and watch. So. And they watch everything. Yeah. So like, it's like. If you're watching, I'm cool with that. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, hell, all promo is good promo at this point. All it's still going to bring people. Exactly. A hundred. All right, and then my last question for you, Miss LaRue. So, what are your feelings about season two? Like, what are you anticipating on seeing? Um. I'm ready to re-see everything. I mean, even though I was there, um, I'm ready to see how everything looked from the outside looking in. Like, you being there when it's happening and then re-watching it after it has already happened is two different things and it, it brings two different vibes. So I'm ready to see it from the people's point of view. Um, and I'm really just ready for us to go up. Like, I'm ready to watch the show. Yeah, I'm eager to see it. But I'm just really ready for what's to come after the show airs and we actually start getting more fans and start being able to network a little bit more, see what other opportunities may come about for me. I'm ready to take it and elevate with it. Period. Period. Because Lex said this is a platform and to use the platform wisely. Correct. So I'm definitely going to use the platform that was given to me um, to elevate and this ain't season one no shade to the season one girls everybody is cool or whatnot but i just feel like a lot of them are still doing the same thing you know what i'm saying like i ain't yeah. really seen no extravagant moves being made people gain followers i want to gain some money so period so heavy on that bitch heavy on that let me get an applause i'm on instagram applause bitch <laughs> But thank you so much, LaRue. And tell them your Instagram. And if you want to shout out anything, let them know. It's big, 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 big motherfucking LaRue. I'm straight up on the O. Pop my pussy on the hole. Follow me on Instagram at B-I-G underscore L-A-R-U-E underscore. B-I-G underscore L-A-R-U-E fucking underscore. I love those who love me. And if you don't fuck with me, fuck your dead pe your people. Your dead people. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, LaRue, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for having me, Ev. Have a good day. Bye. Hello. We got big motherfuckers say Hannah. What the fucking biggest <laughs> going on? How you feeling? I'm feeling all right. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So I just got the phone with a couple of baddies. So I'm about to like jump right into it with you. Okay, good. Okay, so what are your personal feelings on the trailer? Like, how do you feel after you watched it? Like, how did you feel? Okay, so me personally watching the trailer, like, I think it was super dope. Like, it was mad clean. The visuals were top notch. I could definitely tell it's going to be a lot shown this season and that everyone will get their time to shine. So I'm definitely fucking with it. No, definitely, definitely. And I was like, oh my God, the quality looks so great. Like, everything just looked like, bitch, I can't believe I'm on this shit. <laughs> no, real shit. Like, what? I know you got to see it, so you gonna say, they're gonna me, they're gonna me. Like, dead ass. Bro, I dead ass was rewinding the trailer. Like, me, that's me. <laughs> yeah, no, real shit, though. <laughs> so, what was your favorite part of the trailer? So, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. My favorite part of the trailer was the Jackie Chan kick. Because <laughs> it was just so hard holding on to that viral moment. Like, motherfuckers were like, oh, what happened in the house? What happened in the house? You know, we can't really tell. I'm like, man, it was like crazy. There's some viral moments in there. And then it was even funnier because I got to see my reaction when that shit happened. Like, every day you don't see somebody jump 10 feet up from where they're standing and land. <laughs> I'm just fucking lost. I'm 
like, oh, hell no. You know the fuck out the way. <laughs> no, because when John did it in slow motion and did like the freeze frame, your face was like, <gasps> <laughs> Oh, this bitch is kicking. Oh, I gotta move. I don't know why everybody's sitting on the couch still. Like, nah, let me move. Nah, but it's so crazy because I was thinking, I was like, damn, we was all still sitting down. While, like, what is wrong with us? <laughs> So would you add or change anything about the trailer? Like, would you add some more clips or like take anything out or how you feel? So me personally, yes, I do feel like um, I would have added the dorms to the trailer because that is the second location. Um, there was a lot more crazy shit that happened there that I felt would have been like, damn, like, oh, my God, shit's still going on. And I feel like, no, that's why I talk my shit the most. I was ready to see me. Shit. Right, but but remember they called. They said this was just a slumber party trailer, so it's gonna be another trailer for the se actual like season two. Like I cannot. Oh my gosh! Like this shit. This <laughs> like this is crazy. Like they haven't even really seen nothing yet. Like to be honest, literally that was only like a quarter of what went on. Like that shit really got active for real. Nah, that was really like a few days. <laughs> that wasn't even like the whole, like, oh my God. So how you feel about like the trolls and the memes you've been seeing? Like the memes that's been made. I spoke with LaRue and Fetty and Nunu. They was talking about the slam and Nunu was talking about the kick. Oh how you feel? <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I feel like the trolls is being light on everybody. I'm going to be completely honest because when I got into the field before the show and fought the twins, oh my God, I would not stop hearing about that shit. <laughs> I be up on the live. I could just enter the live. They're like, get that bitch hand to go. Like, damn. Like, so I honestly feel like they got it easy. I swear to God. I swear to God. Like, no, but honestly, you know, I was thinking that too. I was like, damn, like motherfuckers really would have been roasting shit and making like, they would have been like posting more memes. I think they just like chilling because they didn't see any episodes yet. I feel like I feel like when they actual actually watch the episodes from what clip happened and what then because them trolls be trolling like they're professionals. Like real real hard. Like I I personally couldn't do that, but hey man, look, they they created diversion, so I can't even be mad at it. Sometimes I don't fuck with that shit. Of course, they be talking shit about me, but it's like damn, not everybody can fuck with you. So. Right, 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 right. <laughs> no, but when Job put the clips in slow motion, bro. Oh, yeah, they was going hard in the comments. Like, <laughs> yo, the fucking slow mo fights got more likes than actual trailer on Job's page. Like, wow. That's just crazy. Like, <laughs> I didn't even peep that. How did you feel when you saw this? I didn't really think he was going to put it in slow motion for real. I thought he was just joking on live. <laughs> nah, he was dead ass. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm good. I ain't get caught up in this shit, man. I want to get right on there. I probably would have deleted my Instagram. Like, man, fuck y'all. I'm tired of this shit. But nah, like, I definitely respect the girls because even though, like, the shit is getting posted in slow modes and getting made as TikToks and shit, they still very positive about it. So I can fuck with that. Nah, for, I feel like everybody is just positive about it because it's like, that's, like, y'all don't even know what all happened yet. Like, y'all just seen a snippet. So it's like, you can't even really be mad or, like, argue with the next bitch because it's like... We know what the fuck went on. Like, just stay <laughs> No, real shit, though. <laughs> yeah. So, my last question for you, Miss Hannah. So, what are your feelings about season two? Like, what are you anticipating on seeing? Like, what are you excited about? So, I will definitely say that season two was lit as hell. Like, I'm going to continue to say that. Um, It's going to be hard for any other season to try to top us, without a doubt. Um, We get real raw. And, like, just looking at the little bit of footage that was giving, I literally stand ten toes on that. But I definitely am anticipating the fans being able to see more of us individually and everyone getting their spotlight or camera time, they say. But definitely trying to see my, per se, camera time. So, <laughs> you know, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm trying to see how I look. If I, you know, got to change a little shit up. Like, ooh, I ain't like that angle. Let me not do that angle again. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> no, for real. I'm excited too. I'm like, it's like I feel so many different emotions because it's like I'm excited and I'm like, oh, I don't want to see that one part. Oh, I don't want. <laughs> okay, like, uh, what they gonna say about that? Damn, they they gonna be on my ass about this? Like, right? Are they gonna cut that part? They gonna clip some shit? Like, I don't even know. It's like. The fans are excited, but I feel like we are more excited because we were there, but like we don't know how the shit looks. Like we were in there in real life. So it's like it's gonna look completely yeah. different on TV. Like Hell yeah. People won't have opinions like, oh, that's crazy how this went, knowing the whole fucking time there's more to the story. Like Right. Oh this is about to be so crazy. I'm uh no, but Fetty had brought up a good point though. She was like, she was excited to see like the confessionals because everybody was saying, oh yeah, I talked shit about you. I did this. I said that. But they didn't say like the everything that they said. Like nobody ever was like, I said this, 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 this. Like you feel me? They just be like, oh yeah, I was mad about that. So I said some shit. But when you actually watch the shit and hear what the fuck motherfuckers are saying, bruh. What I say to reunion house? I don't want a reunion house though. That's crazy. I know a lot. Even I give it like Nunu even said that too. She was like, I don't want a reunion house. I don't want to be with y'all bitches in the house for another night. This and third. Oh, that's cool. I understand that 100. percent Y'all want to do that again? You know, cool. But the way this shit going, how many fights is lined up and shit? We not gonna be able just to sit there and have a reunion. It's not gonna happen. If they let us get, you know how they did in the house, we get that shit in. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot going on. It's not gonna get done within five, six hours. Nah, that's gonna be a long ass time. Okay, well, when you say it like that, it is already shit getting lined up. So it's like, bro, this reunion not even gonna. It's gonna be like a six part reunion. <laughs> no real shit. That's what I'm like. Oh, like just make it a fucking last twenty four for all that. Like, cause I'm telling you, this shit's about to get so active. And literally, just imagine only the trailer dropped and there's a whole bunch of shit lined up. The episodes didn't even air. We didn't even see no professionals. We didn't see how some, what was said behind our back and shit like that. So, <laughs> right. It's about to get crazy. <sighs> I'm excited, but thank you so much, Hannah, for coming on here and talking to me. Yes, of course. And let them know, like, your Instagram or anything you want to shout out. Yeah, make sure y'all follow me, Say Hannah, on Instagram. That's S A Y H A N N N H. A-H, sorry. What? <laughs> Come on, man, I ain't got that. But say Hannah, y'all, with three ends, come get styled to kill, you know, big dresser. What the fuck are they talking about? Yeah, but Period. it's gifting. Yes, thank you, Ebony, for having me, and we gonna keep turning this shit the fuck up. Period. Well, thank you. Yes, have a good night. Bye. Okay, y'all, so y'all heard from Betty, Nunu, say Hannah, and Big LaRue. And I just want to thank y'all so much for being a part of my show. I know it's new. You feel me? Oh my God, I got a show. This is so different for me, but I'm so excited. Like, I'm so excited. But yeah, so this is basically how it's going to go. So every week the episode is going to drop. And I'm going to record my reaction, my opinion, say what it is, what it's not. Pop my shit if some shit pop the fuck off. And I'm, it's just going to be that. And I'm going to allow other baddies to have the chance to like pop their shit as well like oh no but i feel like this because i didn't know that bitch said this. like it's gonna be like a girl talk for real for real but y'all are gonna get inside scoop and more tea than y'all gonna get from watching the show because y'all gonna hear us like you're go literally gonna be hearing what we have to say so it's gonna be like so different i'm so excited to go on this journey with you guys thank you so much for watching this video make sure y'all subscribe like and comment and this is my first time doing something like this. So you ha if you have any advice on what I should do better or what I need to change before September 25th, let me know in the comments or like DM me on Instagram. Or like DM me on Instagram or something like that, you know, because I want to hear like, I really want this to be something great. Like, even though it's going to be drama and tea spilled and all this and that, but I really like the purpose of this is like, so y'all can see me and like, I can do something that I like to do. I like to talk. Like, I'm a talkative ass bitch, so. I like to talk, and then, being that I was given this platform from Lex, thank you again, girl, period. Being that I was given this platform from Lex, like, I wanna elevate and, like, do different things and get out of my comfort zone, because going on the show, honestly, was completely outside of my comfort zone. But it's like, I did it, and it's like, why not? So it's like, why not do something like this? Like, 
this is like me, like me just talking. Like y'all gonna see different sides of me that y'all ain't even seen before because everybody gets hard to fuck up and I pop the fuck off. So y'all gonna see a bunch of stuff. So make sure y'all subscribe and thank you so much again. Bye.